This demonstration is called rolling can, and what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a balloon to get a can to roll. So obviously what we need is we need balloons. You need at least one of them. I'm using a, a 12 inch latex balloon here. And then also you need a can uh, that has to, be, uh, it has to be empty. If you use a full can of pop, it just won't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the balloon and we're going to charge it up. So we're gonna use our hair, you're gonna use a static electricity, and you've probably seen people do this before. As we do that, if we try to get it to stick to the ceiling, it sticks. Okay, we'll talk more about static electricity later. We're gonna use that to get the can, put this balloon to the side, to get the can to roll. So here's our can. We're gonna set it down right there. Charge this up, bring it close to the can. Make sure the can doesn't have a dent in it. There we go. You can bring it back on the other side. Pull the can this way. And pull the can back this way. Now you'll notice the longer that I do this, the weaker that it gets. You may need to recharge your hair again. So, if you have a couple of cans and a couple of balloons, you can challenge someone to a race. Okay, so the rolling can demonstration that we just looked at, what's the science behind this? Well, I told you in the video it has to do with static electricity. So as we're rubbing one thing with another, what's happening is electrons are being stripped. And in this case right here, let's say that the balloon is stripping electrons away from my, my hair. What's happening is we have a buildup of negative charges, so electrons, on the balloon. So the balloon has a net negative charge. If I bring that balloon, as we did before, bring it near a wall, what's gonna happen is it's going to stick to that wall because the wall was neutral, but as we bring this negative charge towards it, the electrons, they will move away, which leaves positive charges right near the surface, right near the wall. So we've got negative charge, positive charge, opposites attract. So that's why a balloon would stick to a wall. Now let's take the can example for, for example. As you charge up the balloon and you get a negative charge here, again the can being neutral, as we bring it close together, the negative charges, the electrons on the balloon here, are going to cause the electrons in the can to move to the opposite side. Okay, positive charge does not like positive charge. But what that means is on this side, there will be positive charge. So negative doesn't like negative, positive doesn't like positive, but the negatives from the balloon, they do like the positives from the can. Opposites attract, and that's how we're able to pull the can along. Now it is true that as we're doing this, there are negatives on the, the far side of the can that are actually repelling, but the positive charges close to the balloon are stronger. They're closer, stronger, and you're able to pull the can with static electricity.